Okay, uh, let me explain you how to use the Ricker car add-on for the truck maintenance trucks. Uh, to do that, uh, obviously we have to first load one of the trucks. Um, what I'm going to do is I will take one of the six wheelers uh, to explain you right away how that works. Uh, basically the principles are the same. Uh, there's one small difference uh, I will show you in a bit. So uh, you just add the truck. Here you go. And let's get a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing you have to understand is there's a certain naming convention to use a Ricker car add-on. Uh, it's basically like this. Well, here's a truck. And those are the names for the assets you or for the wheels you have to put. So basically, in this case, we have seven. So we have six wheels and we have the body. Um, if you have a four-wheeler, you only uh, you can forget about those ones here which says like pk.r.001 or this one here uh, so you only would have the four okay now let's go back to blender and to get it completely done what you need to do is you need to combine the whole chassis the frame and all the other parts. Note that the moment you, you combine everything together, you join everything together, uh, truck madness will not work for this truck anymore. So you cannot do any changes. If you want to do changes, you still can do it right now. You know, let's say uh, I want to have another front. You know, I update the truck and I have another front here. You know, I can also say, hey, let's do the wheels. You don't have to select the wheels. You just select one part of the of the truck, and uh, the add-on will recognize which one you are selecting. Okay, so those are the new wheels. And uh, okay, now what you're gonna do is, or what I'm gonna do, is basically I always deselect the wheels, so I have only this part here. And what I then do is I hit A select everything hit shift this click on one part here it doesn't matter you can click here or here and then click that part again and then you hit control and j and now you have only one one mesh you call this mesh body okay and you're gonna put it in the very first top and now you select the wheels you deselect this and basically what you're going to do is you rename the wheels accordingly to the naming convention i showed you before so this one the front rear uh, the front right would be the front right this would be the front left this would be the back right since we have six wheels, we need to add 001 on this one. And this one is for the left and this is a rear one. The, from the... That 001. So now we have six wheels here. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you select those wheels and just put them in the top here so they're all together in one collection together with the body. You can delete all the other stuff. Now what I always do is um, I select everything by using A, then Control A, click All Transforms. And then I click on object, select origin, origin to geometry. And uh, basically now it's uh, shift A, armature car, that's from the Ricker car. And you can also uh, see that the front wheels is one pair, uh, back wheels is two pairs. And um, 
now what the only thing you have to do is basically hit Rikakar, say generate and that's basically it and the truck is ready uh, make sure that you are in post mode you can now uh, click on this one here to see the steering you know that works you can even do it uh, drifting let it drift and it's ready to be animated and that's basically it so uh, yeah and that is how easy you can uh, rig one of the trucks from uh, truck madness if you have a four-wheeler well like i said this is a six-wheeler if you have a four-wheeler just disregard those um, there's also a way to rig the trailers um, i will create another video on that uh, because there are a few more steps involved but uh, yeah that's basically it so well have fun with it <laughs>